Hello there and welcome back to another one of my videos. This is just a short video, one of my midweek ones that I'm now going to be doing. So leave a comment below if you like me doing short videos midweek. I've just received something exceptionally nice. Take a look at that. Oh yes. This is the, uh, the new book about Ibar Lambretta from 1954 to 1989 by Jamie de la Pratt. Fantastic. Me and Jamie go back a while. We've been racing together back at Calafat and uh, more of the Ebra, I think we were there together as well, and Alcaraz. Great time we had together. Yeah, I'll be going in depth into this book. I'll be doing a nice little review for my friend Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. Signed inside for me as well. Cheers, buddy. So in this short video, I'm going to be repegging the piston. Okay, here we have my shiny new uh, Wyseco piston. Unfortunately, I need to move the ring peg from this position, approximately 10 mil round, to that position. So the first thing I've got to do is remove the old peg from there. So we're going to be using the Dremel and a nice little cutting disc to remove that. So. Let's get it in the vise, nicely held, uh, with some protection, and uh, we can grind that out. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna put some protection on this. Just in case we slip slightly, we won't cause too much damage. got to get that angle just right lots of control so when we go in we just take off that pin right <laughs> let's go for it shall we <laughs> hold your breath And I think that's it, it's gone. It didn't take much at all. Let's just try a piston ring in and uh, check. Yep. Absolutely eradicated. What a job! <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, so that's the old uh, peg removed. So now it's time to drill. Okay, unfortunately, the, the 1.9 mil drill bit won't go between the uh, the ring here. So I've got to just dress it a little bit first, just so it doesn't snag and snap the drill bit. So I've got to take some of that out with my Dremel first. A bit slower speed, I think. So, gently does it.
right. Okay, that's it. Let's drill. And that is exactly at depth. Right, this is what I'm using, or what I've been using for many years. As you can see, there's already some missing out of here because they've got, oh damn, lost that one. Gone in pistons. But let's just pull one out. Come on. It's not coming out, is it? There it should come. Oop! Oh, almost lost it. And there we are. It's a two millimeter roller bearing, which just went on the floor. <laughs> okay, we'll put some Loctite in the hole that we've drilled. Not only does it hold the pin in, I mean it's going to be a knocking fit anyway, but it also aids the pin being knocked in. Right, as you can see, it doesn't fall in. It has to be hit in with a hammer. So I'll just go get my little copper hammer. And we will gently start it going. It's almost flush. Right, so now I need my uh, pin punch to punch it down the rest of the way. Right, this needs to go much further in now. And we have to do it with this pin punch. Meeting me lamp. Okay. Seems to be it. I believe that is it. It's down. So the next operation is to check to see if our piston ring closes over it. And if it doesn't, we have to trim it a little bit. Where's my rings gone? Okay, that's the finished job. Um, I don't know whether you can see that good enough on the camera, but there we go. The piston peg has been moved. It's now the piston rings close up over it without any problem. And we're going to try it in the bore and make sure it's got clearance and free play. And that will be job done. Okay, here's our ultimate test. It fits in nicely. And as you can see, we can still rock the clearance on that piston without it failing, the, without the ring touching. So if that was too tight on the peg, we wouldn't have any movement on it. But we've got clearance and it's more than enough. So I'm happy with that. That's our piston peg done. Fantastic. 
So I hope you all enjoyed that one, repicking your piston. Don't forget to subscribe and like, follow my channel. All good stuff.